Imagine the boundless joy of running freely, the thrill of chasing a football across a dusty field. Meet Kofi, a young boy who once lived and breathed football, his days filled with laughter and the camaraderie of the game. He dreamt of scoring the winning goal, of the cheers of the crowd, of the simple pleasure of playing with his friends. But now, that vibrant energy is gone. He sits on the sidelines, a shadow of his former self, wincing in pain with every movement. The field, once his playground, is now a constant reminder of what he's lost. The laughter of his friends echoes around him, a bittersweet symphony of joy he can no longer share. His feet are swollen, inflamed and tender to the touch, crusted with layers of dried blood and damaged skin, a testament to the relentless assault on his body, and dotted with tiny black specks, each one a sign of the parasite that has taken root in his life. The culprit? A nearly invisible sand flea called the jigger, or tunga penetrans. What began as a small, almost insignificant itch, easily dismissed as a minor irritation, has become a constant agony, a searing, throbbing pain that permeates every waking moment, and even disturbs his sleep. The relentless discomfort is keeping Kofi from school, preventing him from learning and growing and isolating him from the joy of play with his friends. Jiggers are tiny, almost invisible to the naked eye, easily overlooked in the dust and dirt, but their impact is huge devastating entire communities and crippling countless children. They burrow deep into the skin, finding refuge and nourishment in the soft tissues of the feet, especially in children who play barefoot, their vulnerable feet offering an easy target. The female flea, once embedded, lays hundreds of eggs inside the foot, creating a breeding ground for further infestation, causing swelling, inflammation and intense pain that radiates throughout the body. Kofi's story is a tragically common one in many rural villages across Africa and South America, where a single jigger infestation can lead to weeks, months, or even years of debilitating suffering and long-term health complications. The excruciating pain makes walking unbearable, turning simple tasks into monumental challenges, and the shame and stigma associated with the infection keeps children like Kofi hiding their feet, further isolating them from their communities. This tiny invader, barely visible to the naked eye, can rob a child of their mobility, their confidence, their education, and their joy, leaving them vulnerable and isolated. But the good news is that this suffering is preventable with the right knowledge and resources. Understanding the life cycle of the jigger, how they attack, and how they spread, is the first and most crucial step to fighting back against this pervasive and debilitating disease. With increased awareness, education, and community-led action, we can break the cycle of infection and suffering, and empower children like Kofi to reclaim their health, their childhoods, and their futures. No child, anywhere in the world, should have to lose their childhood, their education, or their dreams, to a tiny flea. The battle against jiggers starts with knowledge, with understanding the enemy and empowering communities to protect themselves. Let's take a closer look at how these seemingly insignificant pests can inflict so much damage and disrupt so many lives. Jiggers, also sometimes referred to as sand fleas, are a parasitic nuisance that primarily affects people and animals in tropical and subtropical regions. Scientifically known as Tunga penetrans, these tiny creatures are masters of disguise and invasion. They are minuscule sand fleas, almost invisible to the naked eye, and are commonly found thriving in warm, sandy places. These parasites particularly thrive in dusty soil around homes, where they can easily find hosts. They are also prevalent in schools, especially in areas with poor sanitation. The risk is significantly higher, especially where people walk barefoot, providing easy access for the jiggers to latch onto their unsuspecting hosts. The real trouble begins when the pregnant female flea burrows into the skin, seeking a blood meal to nourish her developing eggs. This usually occurs on the feet, often between the toes or on the soles, where the skin is softer and easier to penetrate. Once inside, she feeds voraciously on blood and swells up dramatically, growing in size as she becomes engorged. This process causes significant pain and swelling, making it difficult to walk or even stand comfortably. 
Often, the only visible sign of her presence is a small black dot on the skin, marking the point of entry. After approximately two weeks, the female jigger reaches full maturity. At this point, she releases a staggering number of eggs, often over a hundred, directly through the skin and into the surrounding environment. These eggs then fall to the ground, ready to hatch and continue the life cycle. This leads to hatching more fleas, rapidly spreading the problem and increasing the risk of infestation for others nearby. Even after the flea dies, her body remains embedded in the skin, posing a significant risk of secondary bacterial infection. This relentless cycle can quickly escalate, leading to the infestation of entire communities and creating a widespread public health crisis. The pain from Jiggers is relentless, making every step torture. Children miss school, adults can't work, Open wounds from jiggers invite dangerous infections like cellulitis and abscesses. If untreated, bacteria can enter the bloodstream causing life-threatening sepsis. Chronic infestations can deform feet, sometimes leading to amputation. The stigma is real. Children are bullied, adults isolated. The result is a cycle of pain, poverty, and shame. Jiggers are more than a nuisance. They destroy lives, but with the right steps, this suffering can be stopped. Removing a jigger quickly and safely is crucial. Never use dirty pins or thorns. They can worsen infection. Use a sterile needle or blade, antiseptic, and clean hands. Wash the affected area thoroughly. Gently widen the opening around the black dot. Ease out the whole flea without breaking it. Disinfect the wound immediately. Apply petroleum jelly to protect and heal. Leave the wound open to air, not tightly bandaged. Check and clean daily until healed. Quick clean removal stops the cycle and prevents complications. Prevention is simple and powerful. It's about taking small, consistent steps that can make a huge difference in protecting ourselves and our loved ones from jiggers. These steps are easy to incorporate into our daily routines. Always wear closed shoes, especially when you're outside. This is particularly important in dusty or sandy areas where jiggers thrive. Shoes act as a barrier, preventing jiggers from burrowing into your skin. Wash feet daily with soap and water, paying close attention to the areas between your toes. Regularly inspecting for early signs of jiggers is crucial. Look for small, dark spots or any unusual swelling or itching. Keep homes clean. A clean environment reduces the risk of jigger infestations. Sweep floors regularly and treat soil around homes if possible to eliminate potential breeding grounds. Traditional methods like smearing floors with natural materials with cow dung and ash can help create a protective barrier and deter jiggers. Teach children the importance of shoes and hygiene from a young age. Instilling these habits early can protect them throughout their lives. Act fast if you spot a jigger. Early removal is easier and safer, preventing further complications and spread. Community awareness breaks the cycle. Sharing knowledge and supporting each other is key to eradicating jiggers. With these habits, we can protect families from jiggers and create healthier communities. Every child deserves to run and play, free from the pain and stigma of jiggers. Let's make it possible together by embracing these simple yet effective prevention strategies.